Well, welcome back to the channel. What I'm doing today, as you can see behind me, is I got some uh, willow tree limbs that my neighbor cut down around his pond, and I'm going to use them for uh, crappie, crappie uh, brush piles. So, anyway, uh, we're going to do that. It's you know it's late August. It's hot. The crappie really aren't biting. So what I'm going to do is make put some brush piles out on Mark Twain Lake. And what I what I got to do is I got to get a permit from the Corps of Engineers, and then once I get the permit, uh, we'll go out and I'll take you guys along, and we'll uh, go out and dump these piles in Mark Twain Lake for some good crappie habitat, and I'm sure bass will get in them too. So anyway. Let's go. Let's go head over to the neighbors and uh, we'll pick some more up. Yeah, here we go. Got that nice uh, one right there. We got a whole bunch over there. I'm going to pull a few out and uh you know make i don't know maybe four or five piles and then the next couple days give me time to get a permit from the poor office like i said and uh let's see what we're going to do here so now what i'll probably do is i'll probably this i'll probably cut this down a little bit where it's not as big and i'll tie a couple concrete blocks on them and uh, that'll be a be a nice pile so What I'm doing today is just uh, bringing them over to my yard, just right next door, getting them out of his way. He was nice enough to, he wanted to cut that willow tree down off his pond, so I told him to save me the limbs and I'll uh, make some crappie piles out of them. Well, we're back at the house. That didn't take very long. I'm going to dump these out here. And then I got to go, I got some pork steaks on the grill. I got to go eat dinner. So I'll be right back and we'll start putting these together. We're going to go over here to the neighbors and grab some more uh, trees. Be a good brush pile right there. Great brush pile. So got a whole bunch over there. So uh, I'm gonna get these loaded up, and I'll see you back there. All right, what I'm gonna do now. I got all these brush piles over here on the other side of my shop where I can work with them. I'm gonna take a chainsaw and uh, if you guys can see uh, that one right there is kind of long and it's gonna be hard to manage once I get it in the boat so I'm gonna probably cut about four foot off that and uh, these over here look pretty good you know manageable you know, to me to get them in the boat. I might trim that one down a couple foot and uh, and then uh, once I tie the brick onto it, and they'll be easy to get on the butt deck of my boat and then throw overboard. So on the spots I want to throw them. So.
got them all cut. Now I'm gonna go get the bricks. I'm gonna tie them on. We're gonna get them ready to go on the boat. I got four blocks here. I got two, two half blocks, which is going to be plenty of weight to sink these uh, brush piles. So, and I actually got two, two uh, full size ones. Anyway, my uncle had a bunch laying around his place and wasn't using them, so I went and picked them up yesterday. So, you know, you can either go buy them or find somebody's got some laying around they're not using, go get them. And uh, perfect for these brush piles. We'll just stack them in here and uh, take them over there. So. Dog's gonna, Tuli's gonna start barking because he, when this side by side, hey, see, I told you. So we're gonna shut this off for a minute until we get over there. I don't want to listen to him bark all the time. He goes crazy when it's side by side. Right? All right, well, let's do a half a block first plenty of weight with this you know if you're going to be using stake beds made out of pallets or something i'd probably use a couple blocks but uh you know let's just start right here i'm going to kind of even them up a little bit I'm gonna put this block all right right towards the bottom of it and I'm gonna cut I don't know how much here then not gonna take much maybe two and a half three foot of this I don't know some kind of flexible wire got a coating on it I have no idea where I got it but you can use anything now I'm gonna run it through that block here tie that off just like that pretty simple that ain't coming then when you drop that it's gonna sink it to the bottom that block and it should stand straight up and if you want to you could always put a milk jug or something tie, tie a milk jug up to the front and then it'll keep it floating but all the brush piles that I've ever put out they pretty much stand straight up with a block like this. So anyway, there's one done. That's all there is to it. All right, it's 100 degrees out here today. I'm sweating. The fish really aren't biting, so this is a good project to do when the fish, you know, they're not really biting like they should. Get your brush piles out if you got time. Make a few, and uh, it's going to pay off when you go fishing. All right, I got the permit. Now I'm ready to go dump some brush piles out on the lake. I got, I'm by myself, so what I'm gonna have to do is I got a pretty good sized brush pile in the back of my truck. I got a, I got a tarp and I got the brick and I've got uh, the wire in the, in the back of my boat. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the spalding boat ramp. I'm gonna load it up on my boat when I get there so it don't blow off the boat when I head head down there and then uh, I'm gonna go dump it so this is gonna be brush pile number one I'll see you over there at Spalding all right well there's a the brush pile on the boat through here twice and then tie that up like that let me get 
there came on. We'll go get the live scope. And we're gonna mark it here. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I got the boat cleaned up. I'm probably going to put out between, you know, 10 to 15 brush piles out on the lake. So hopefully, you know, I'll have some spots to hit for bass, crappie, whatever. And I'm sure other people will find them as well with the electronics these days, which is fine. So, so uh, stay tuned and uh, we're going to have another video out shortly on the uh, sinking brush pile. So thanks again for watching Strike 3 Fishing. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, and we'll see you on the next episode.